Fancy headquarters built for state police, and tonight, tens of millions of dollars later, they are getting ready to move on out of there. What's up with that? It was uh, part of a controversial deal at a time that the state was nearly broke. And tonight, investigator Ross Jones here with a stunning update on a story he's been on from the very start. Ross. Here with Stephen, good evening. Governor Jennifer Granholm left Michigan a long time ago, but we are all still paying for what many say tonight is her monument to waste. It's the state police headquarters that most state police officers didn't want, but not even they could stop then Governor Jennifer Granholm from committing more than 70 million taxpayer dollars to see it built at a time when state troopers faced layoff and the state was on the brink of broke. I'm very concerned about making sure that the state and the taxpayers get the best bang for their buck. But that bang became a thud today when state police announced that after barely five years in their new building, they're ready to move out. I'm convinced more than ever that this is, this is the worst case of political payback. That was then State Representative Rick Jones back in 2007, one of many lawmakers to oppose building the new headquarters. And as we first exposed, this is why. The builders of the new headquarters were some of the most politically connected in town, including Joel Ferguson, one of Granholm's biggest political supporters. Ferguson insisted to our Steve Wilson back in 2007 that this deal had nothing to do with political donations. You don't think politicians are influenced by campaign contributions? No, I don't. Really? The people I've met, I just feel that they're influenced by what can do the best for the state of Michigan. Today, the state announced that troopers will begin leaving in September, replaced with employees from the Department of Community Health, all part of a massive relocation plan involving five different state agencies that's supposed to save taxpayers $30 million. Today by phone, Senator Rick Jones said it would have saved a lot more money if the building had never been built. And now we're stuck with it, and uh, we'll make lemonade out of lemons, but it's, uh, it never should have happened. So where will troopers be moving? Just a few miles down the road to a building that was standing long before Granholm pushed for this new one. It's on the grounds of the state's secondary complex in Diamond Dale. And if that sounds familiar, it should. That is the exact building where cops and many lawmakers said the headquarters should have been Ooh. from day one. And we reported they said that from day sure one did. also. Uh, so uh, it's going to be costing a lot to move things, first of all. And second of all, uh, what happens to the building and what's the developer saying about the whole thing? Well, the developer says that even though cops never liked the building, it was a good idea. You would expect him to say that yeah. because he made a great deal of money. Mm -hmm. uh, cops will start moving in, uh, in September to this new building, and a lot of folks said they should have been there in the first place. Mm -hmm. And the old building? Uh, the old building will be uh, the new home to a different state department. Uh, it was built for police officers, so I'm not sure how well that'll translate, but it's their new home. We, we shall find out. We will see. All right, thanks, Ross.